imagine that it, it, it gets frustrating because you guys don't do your research. You don't you don't look at what's happening. But if, you, Does that if, if he has never been in an emergency and he's named emergency, do you reckon he's a bit closer to the senior selection than he was? Yeah. So, so let's go back to your original question. Well, doesn't make let's go back to your original question. Is he, is, he, is he getting closer? Alright, so he is. It's fair enough. There's no question that the Richmond guys have got ahead of themselves. Oh, seriously, I'd love to see Kane. I'd love to. Would you? I'd really love to see Kane. Yep. Don't get me wrong. That's his job. Sure. He's there to write <laughs> comments. Uh, thought that you handled the fallout from that stuff from the couch last week with remarkable coolness. Did it get up, did it get up your nose? <laughs> it would seem a little bit different to the words I just had with you before, you yeah. suggested. <laughs> Precious. Yeah. Oh, listen, yeah. I just thought it was out of line. I thought you, I think you're better than that as a journalist. Um, uh, you know, you and I have known each other for a long period of time, um, and I reckon you put your journalism above our friendship because it's so far from the truth, it's not funny. We're still bemused and disappointed that we don't know exactly some of the things that are going on out there. But having said that, uh, the boys had a go. What do you What do you mean? What are you bemused at? What would you think I mean, Richard? What would you really think I mean? So we're, we're going to lose our captain now with a facial break from a, uh, uh, to the head. Uh, that's only one instance where we didn't get a free kick. We just like to think that we get to have an even play, playing field. Thanks for your time. Absolutely, it shouldn't be done. End of story. You're the media journalist, so you figure it out. No, how does it impact the club, <laughs> Next question. No, how does it impact the Next club? question. No, 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 Thanks, Tony. No, no, no. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, mate. Give me a straight. Well, I think you're out of line because what I saw, I saw some Dockers players go down off the ball. I'm sure, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Remember as well, but yeah. did you have a message to your players in particular? What do you think? I don't know. You tell me. You're the coach. Well, I just think it's a silly question. Okay. We play within the rules. Zach Dawson's game, Ross Wood, and I think it's game four. What's your name? Mine. Yeah. Shane. Shane who? McGinnis. Okay, that's the best question you can come up with after two hours of footy. You're quite brilliant. Do you think that you are the right person to be coaching this, this football club? If I didn't mark, I wouldn't be standing here right now. And we've got a game to play and we'll move on with that. Have you been annoyed, last one? Have you been annoyed by this talk? Oh, we've got a game to play, mate. And what, what do you think? <laughs> it's, uh, it's not pleasant. We don't want to be here, but we are and we'll move on with the game. Thanks, guys. James Heard with us on AFL 360. How do you think that went? Not very well. You've been around a long time, Mick. Uh, just the week you've had, uh, was it a tough one leading in? They're all tough. Any regrets at all about uh, what oh, happened? I'm sorry, do I, do I need to go to confession or something? Last uh, question. Or, or I murdered someone? No, not at all. No, I'm just saying. Thank you. Thanks, Mick. I thought, I thought there was far worse players last week than Brent Otten's playing the game. And uh, for some, th some silly reason, you people want to assassinate him, and it's just rubbish. You people. Be happy, Mark, that you pumped All of you. All of you. It's just rubbish. Leave him alone. <laughs>